When you think of rich women, celebrities like Rihanna, or Oprah Winfrey come to mind right? Well, the truth is that the wealthiest women in the world who are all ultra-billionaires, by the way, prefer to maintain a much lower profile than celebrities with a combined net worth of nearly $500 billion. These women have earned vast fortunes and they have managed to climb up the ranks of wealthy people using just their wits and grit. In today's video, I will be taking a look at the richest women in the world, their success stories and just how they are spending their immense wealth let's mingle with the high and mighty. Shall we number 5 Miriam Adelson is an Israeli-American physician who once served a mandatory army service as a medical officer at Nessusayana, a town in Israel. She earned a Bachelor of Science in Microbiology and Genetics from the Hebrew University of Jerusalem and a medical degree from Tel Aviv University's Sackler Medical School after divorcing her first husband Adelson went to Rockefeller University in 1986, as an associate physician specializing in drug addiction. It was while studying at Rockefeller University that she met Sheldon Adelson, a billionaire businessman who owned a lot of businesses, including the Las Vegas Sands Corporation, the Las Vegas Sands, which operates from Nevada. He's an American casino and resort company that contributed largely to Shelton's enormous net worth of around $30 billion. Adelson got married to Sheldon in 1991. And after he died in 2021, she inherited the casino company and became one of the richest people in the world. Through her majority ownership of the Las Vegas Sands Adelson now owns more than half of the gambling empire, which in turn controls several casinos in Singapore and Macau. The billionaire heiress is also the current publisher of the newspaper called Israel Hayam. Andy is on the board of trustees at the University of Southern California, where she acts as a voting member since taking up her late husband position as head of the gambling empire. Adelson has been a regular feature of Forbes magazine and various other wealth ranking lists as of June 2021. She was the 44th richest person 5th richest woman and richest Israeli in the world with an estimated net worth of $36.3 billion. According to the Bloomberg Billionaires Index, she now ranks higher at Forbes 36 position for the richest people in the world and her net worth has climbed up to $35.6 billion since 2022. With all that money until you can expect that this billionaire must have made some big donations to charity Adelson has been known to support charitable causes here and there. However, she mostly gives to political endeavors back when her husband was still alive, she and Sheldon Adelson donated about $180 million to Republican campaigns and political action committees in 2020. She is also credited with influencing her late husband's political views on Israel and was one of the financial backers for the inauguration of former President Donald Trump. In 2013, Adelson received an honorary citizenship of Jerusalem and she was later awarded the Presidential Medal of Freedom by Donald Trump himself in 2018. Number 4 Jacqueline Mars If you are a fan of candy like M&M's, Skittles Twigs or Milky Way bars, then you have probably contributed $1 or 2 to the wealth of this very rich woman Jacqueline Mars is the daughter of Andre Ruth and Forrest Mars Sr. and the granddaughter of Frank C. Mars founder of the American candy company Mars Incorporated as a member of the Mars family Jacqueline Mars owns an estimated one-third of Mars, the world's largest candy maker. Her shares of Mars Incorporated and other assets were estimated by Forbes magazine in January 2019 to be worth $23.5 billion, making her at that time the 18th richest American and 34th on the list of the world's billionaires. Jacqueline Mars was active in Mars Incorporated for nearly 40 years dating as far back as 1982 when she joined the company as food product group president until 2001. When she retired after her retirement, Jacqueline continued to serve on the board of the company until 2016 when she decided to enjoy the unbothered life of a billionaire well after her retirement in 2019. Forbes listed her as the wealthiest resident living in Virginia with an estimated $28.1 billion net worth today she remains one of the richest women anywhere with a net worth of $38.3 billion. With ample time on her hands to focus on her interests. The Mars heiress serves on the board of the National Archives and was even formerly on the board of the Washington National Opera and the National Sporting Library and Fine Arts Museum. She is a trustee of the U.S. Equestrian Team and owns a working organic farm that is protected in perpetuity by the Land Trust of Virginia. Number 3, Alice Louise Walton, as the only daughter of Walmart's founder Sam Walton, Alice Walton was the first in line to inherit a fortune that would make her one of the richest people in the world that didn't stop her from going beyond every expectation to make more of herself. After graduating from Trinity University, Alice started working at Walmart, but she left it to start a career as a broker. She wasn't very good at that. So she resigned and became an equity analyst and a money manager as she headed investment activities for the family-owned Arabist Bank Group, and in 1988, Alice founded an investment bank named Llama Company as a subsidiary of Walton Enterprises. 
Inspired by an actual llama her mother received as a present the bank ran for 10 years before closing in 1998. The llama company wrote bonds and managed assets as well as loans to other businesses. As the bank's president, chairwoman and CEO, Alice soon became the first person to chair the Northwest Arkansas Council and played a major role in the development of the Northwest Arkansas Regional Airport, which opened in 1998. It was in that same year that the Lama Company closed down and she resigned from the high finance life to spend more time enjoying her family and her horses. Alice ended up relocating to the farm she had established in Texas within the year with 3,200 acres a rocking W ranch that soon became one of the best breeders of horses. The Walmart heiress retired with a net worth of about $57.4 billion, making her the 19th richest person and the second richest woman in the world at that time. According to Bloomberg Billionaires Index in recent years, Alice has been nudged down a step and has become the third richest woman in the world with that much wealth sitting around despite the fact that she mainly resided in Texas, Alice made sure to visit Bentonville to satisfy her love for art. She founded the Crystal Bridges Museum of American Art, which is a particular interest of the Walmart billionaire back in 2005, Alice purchased a painting worth $35 million from the New York Public Library and American Classic by Asher Brown Durant. She has spent many more millions purchasing artworks but that is not the only thing Walton spends her vast wealth on Alice is also just as big on her philanthropic deeds as her father was back when he was still alive. Since his death, Alice has volunteered and actively supported many different charitable causes that cut across all walks of life. The Walton Family Foundation supports education and economic development in the Northwest Arkansas region and also environmental conservation in the area. Number 2, Julia Margaret Fletcher Code. What started out as a blind date in 1991 blossomed into so much more when the two parties involved ran into each other again six months later, they began dating and eventually got married in 1996. If you haven't figured it out, yet, the two parties are Julia Margaret Fletcher and David Koch, the Paramount in January 1991. The first day did not leave Margaret with a good impression. The two would meet again at the party later that year, and she most likely had a change of heart because they started dating Julia stopped working in 1993 and eventually got married to David in May 1996. The wedding took place at David Koch's house on Meadow Lane in Southampton. After having three kids together, David Koch was sadly passed away in 2019, leaving Julia Koch and their three children David Jr., Mary Julia and John Mark with 42% of the family business The family business was Koch Industries and American privately held multinational conglomerate based in Wichita, Kansas. That is the second largest privately held company in the United States. The company which now mostly belongs to Mrs. Koch owns subsidiaries that are involved in the manufacturing, refining and distribution of petroleum chemicals, energy, fiber intermediates and polymers minerals, fertilizer, pulp and paper chemical technology equipment cloud computing, finance, raw materials, trading and investments due to her position Julia owns Flint Hills Resources Georgia Pacific Guardian Industries and for Invista KBX, Koch Ag and Energy Solutions, Koch Engineered Solutions Koch Investments Group Koch Minerals and Trading and Molex The firm employs 122,000 people in 60 countries with about half of its business being located in the United States and the rest worldwide. The billionaire widow is also the president of the David H. Koch Foundation and was formerly on the board of directors of the School of American Ballet along with her late husband Julia made huge donations to institutions such as the Lincoln Center, the Metropolitan Museum of Art and the Smithsonian Museum of Natural History with a net worth of $59 billion. Julia has been included on the list of the top 10 richest females in the world since she took over Koch Industries and remains the second richest woman today. She is of course also a well-known social and philanthropist, but her status as a billionaire is more glaring as ever, not as glaring as the next entry, who tops the list without further ado. Number 1. Françoise Betancourt. Mayors at the top of our list is French businesswoman and billionaire heiress Françoise Betancourt Mayors who has held the title of the world's richest woman since 2022. Away from her billionaire status. Françoise is also a writer, pianist and philanthropist, her estimated net worth sits around $79.3 billion, and she sits at the top of the 10 richest females in the world. Francois is the heiress to the L'Oreal Beauty Empire, a French personal care company. She acquired this massive fortune maker from her grandfather Eugene Schuler, who was the founder of the company. Her mother Lillian Betancourt was, however, the main shareholder. In fact, she was previously considered the richest woman in the world after the death of her mother in 2017. Francois inherited around 39.5 billion euros an amount that has grown by at least 50% in the last five years following the death of her mother in 2017. 
Francois's fortune is said to have tripled thanks to her investments through her family holding company Tempus Invest in the high valuation of L'Oreal shares today her net worth comfortably sits at double of what it once was at 69 years old. Francois leads a discreet life away from the spotlight. She invests her money in things like scientific, artistic and cultural projects, including the reconstruction of the Notre Dame Cathedral in which she invested around $220 million as the richest woman in the world Francois takes being discreet seriously. However, the people who have encountered her say her life in Paris is relatively simple. She enjoys the public French parks and does not use private jets for her trips. Her passions are literature and art and those who are very close to her say that she feels like she is in a golden prison not knowing what to do with the enormous fortune she controls. Although Francois has probably never given an interview and has always preferred to stay in the background or philanthropic activities which are carried down through the Betancourt Schuller Foundation of which he is president are quite known to many every year the Betancourt Awards for young researchers are handed down to about 14 new students of science or medicine to aid their postgraduate studies. There is also the sought-after Betancourt Prize Coup de l'Ona Valle Researcher Francais which grants public biomedical research laboratories rewards for improving their infrastructure and working conditions for the science researchers each year. Francois has also supported research projects in neuroscience and autism and has invested in craft companies. Although the public has only had glimpses at the life that Francois lives it does seem like a rather nice way for the richest woman in the world to spend her money.